On today's ChurchTechCast.com's uh, question and answer show, how to sync audio, separate ProPresenter machines, and Jan's Vista with Pro 6. Hi, and welcome again to the ChurchTechCast.com Q&A show. This is the show where every week I answer your church tech questions. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host. And let's get right into the question, shall we? Juan Morales on TrinityDigitalMedia.com asks, Our church wants to play sermon videos, but there are latency issues with the audio not syncing using ProPresenter. I recommended them to use a black magic intensity would this help fix the sync issue well um depends on if you're talking about an intensity shuttle or exactly what you have in mind but i really think probably the better solution is for you to um, look at your encoding settings normally you're going to want to look at h.264 uh, MP4 as the best encoding method for your videos that you show in ProPresenter 5 and 6. So do that first. I'd also be curious if the videos have ever been in sync. Um, I've played videos that are over an hour long in ProPresenter and not had any issues whatsoever on multiple machines. So it is possible to do. Just check there first, and then we'll go from there. Wonderful Lens on YouTube in response to my answer about how to overlay text on video by putting video in the computer says, okay, since we're not wanting to show the live feed on the projector at this time, would we still need the other computer in method one? And I'll tell you what that was. With this do we still need to have ProPresenter and the encoder on separate computers? Yes. So what he's trying to do is he's trying to use ProPresenter to key text, lower thirds, etc. over a video feed. So he's putting ProPresenter downstream from the switched video feed. And so the plan is to capture the video and uh, put it into ProPresenter and then take that video and send it out on the live stream. The problem that I see with that is first, live streaming is very processor intensive, so I would absolutely keep them separate. Secondly, you're going to need a separate machine for each version of ProPresenter. The reason for that is the background. In one case, you want the background to be, you know, a digital juice style worship motion kind of background. And in the other, you want it to be live video. How are you going to use one computer to do that on both? I suppose you could do it with the triple head to go, but you're going to run into a bit of an issue with that being kind of that's going to be processor intensive as it is. I don't know that I would trust it. I think a better solution is to get a little Mac Mini and have that dedicated to this on ProPresenter. We're looking at similar costs, a few hundred dollars one way or the other. So that's what I would recommend is that you have one ProPresenter instance that's for the room, another ProPresenter instance that's for online, and what comes out of that goes into a video encoder that goes online. It doesn't stay within the same machine because encoding is very processor intensive and it may or may not even work and it quite possibly could crash the machine if you try and do both of those things at the same time. So that's why I recommend against it. Okay, Joe via email asks, I'm relatively new to church technical things despite a long background in audio and computer, so I have a question. We have a Jans Vista lighting control system and a rack-mounted Windows PC using Pro 6. 
I don't really know all the details, although I could find them, but everything seems to be on a local LAN. Here's the main question. How can I create a slide in ProPresenter such that when it is shown, a queue list on the lighting console is run? Let me rephrase. He does something in ProPresenter, it makes the Jans Vista work. Uh, and any help you could offer with this subject would be helpful. Blessings, Joe. Well, here is how I would normally do it. I would use the communication module and uh, that would be pretty easy to do. Except, yeah, there's always an except. The, the problem is that that module isn't currently available on the PC. Now with ProPresenter 6, there are more modules that are available but not that one. So I really don't know how you get around that in that the software just doesn't support it. So um, that's what I would uh, be concerned about. You could absolutely get a little Mac Mini um, and make that use the slave module to have it uh, slaved to the master ProPresenter uh, PC and have that send the stuff to the Jans Vista. That's going to be the easiest way to do it, but I don't know that that's the way that you want to do it. In fact, in talking with you, you're very set on staying with the PC. And that is going to be much harder for you to do. Talk to ProPresenter, talk to Renewed Vision, those people, since they wrote it, maybe they've got a road map of when this is coming. Maybe it's coming soon enough that it's not worth uh, trying to find workarounds. It could be that it's not, though. So I think um, the Slave uh, Mac is a fine workaround. You don't need a lot of heavy lifting, so it could even be a pretty old one, just as long as it can follow along and send that command to your Jans Vista. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that was one of your questions. And if it was not, just leave your question below the video. In fact, just leave a comment. Whatever it is below the video, positive to give me a, a pat on the back, negative to help me grow and be better at this, because that's what I want to do. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can do that there. If you are listening to the audio version of the podcast, which you can subscribe to by heading over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash subscribe. Just uh, leave it under one of the shows on trinitydigitalmedia.com, and I will get it, and we'll include it in a future show. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com. Go out and change eternity.